Festival is bringing back their annual Old Fashioned Christmas Parade next Saturday, December 10th. And joining us now with details on the event is Jasmine Walters Hubbard. Good morning to you. Thanks for being here. Good morning. Thank you guys for having me. I'm excited. Yeah, we're excited. I know um, there was a uh, over the past couple of years, mm -hmm. you weren't able to have it. So it's back bigger than ever. So what can people expect? So people can expect a day of fun starting in Danville throughout the day at um, Kentucky School for the Deaf. Jacobson Hall will have uh, some Christmas tours. You can still shop downtown, of course, during the day. At the Art Center, there is going to be like a little craft fair and craft show for the kids and little activities for the kids. There are sleighs set up all throughout Danville to take pictures with the sleighs and hashtag the Christmas parade, hashtag Danville, and you'll be able to see those online. Um, from around four o'clock or so, we are having Christmas cookies and hot cocoa with some special characters running around Danville. And at five o'clock is the Christmas parade. And then the five, five o'clock is Christmas parade. Yes. So right is starting to get a little dark out mm -hmm. there. We're getting close to that time. We'll see, we can see all the bright lights uh, throughout Danville. Now, you still need some, some volunteers, don't you? Yes, we are still looking for some volunteers to help us with the parade. So walking the parade route, helping with parking um, for the entrance in the parade, helping set stuff up the day before uh, because Main Street will be closed off and part of the other streets will be closed off for the parade route. It's starting at College Street, working its way down Main Street, coming and then looping around 2nd Street, you know, back to Walnut Street to where they're going to be set up at Norton, at the parade entrance will be set up at Norton Center to start out. So you really need the community to come yes. together and help out with this big thing for Danville. Definitely. Um, now, what can people, I know you touched on a little bit about what they can expect, mm -hmm. but can you go into more details about different vendors? Are you still looking for vendors or participants for the parade? So the participants and the vendors have closed. So we have got over 80 entrants in the parade for this year. Oh. And anything from businesses like our uh, the Hampton Inn and the Holiday Inn Express in Danville where I work, we're one of the parade entrance. Uh, we've got uh, we've got several school clubs and activities in the parade. Uh, we've even got a band that's going to be in the parade this year, so we're excited. Uh, a few cheerleading teams are going to be in the parade. Uh, different businesses in Danville and the surrounding counties are going to be in the parade. We in, when we also, for the first time, have food trucks set up. So we're going to have food trucks set up at both um, sides of Main Street, closer towards U.S. Bank on Main Street, and then over at Constitution Square next to Main Street as well, too. So we'll have them set up at both sides throughout the day. I think that's going to start about 2 o'clock, and it's going to run till about 8 that evening for the food trucks. All right. Well, we have all that information on screen and volunteers are still needed. So please reach out for more information. And thank you much, so much, Jasmine. I know it's going to be a success. Well, thank you guys so much. We appreciate it and we appreciate you having us today. All right.